Y'all better head out now because there ain't no motels up in here. So we had to leave off. Now, I'm a city boy. I've never been in a country when it's been pitch black. I've never been in a place, too many places where they didn't have street lights. And this one didn't have any street lights. And the only memory I had was that people riding around there with a the shotgun. So they put me in the back seat, and I'll be honest with you, I didn't even stay on the seat, I laid on the floor. I said that I can go on and on and on. But probably the most memorable thing happened as I progressed through the member, this leadership. I got into position and I would call General, and you wouldn't be telling my call. For 20 years we've been talking just about every day, and if not every day, every other day. So I called his lovely wife, Marilyn. Marilyn, I said, what's wrong? He said, well, I think you and General ought to have a little talk. So we had a talk, and General said, Jimmy, I'm going to always be your friend. I can't be as close to you as I have been before. I said, what's wrong? What do you mean you can't be close to me no more? He said, because I don't want to stop your rise in this union. I want to make certain that you make this union a better place. And I don't want to be tainted with them knowing me. I cried. I could not believe a man could come to himself to say that. I really never ever wanted it. And I would never let it happen. And I stayed in contact with him. But that shows you the man is fearless in his life. So in conclusion, my brother, you ain't gonna never be the enemy.